Holy crap. Thank God this Butler game just finally ended. Thank God we won. That was something else. Close game. Uh, the final score doesn't really indicate how close it was. Wow. This is, it was a terrible shooting performance for Butler. Um, Rodney Clark, you can tell he was nervous. This is his first ever NCAA tournament game. And it could have been his last since he's a fifth-year senior. Um, well, he's a transfer. That's why he became a fifth-year senior. And, uh, man, it was just pretty bad on his part shooting the ball. He didn't get hot until, like, the last five, ten minutes of the game here. And uh, just the whole team just didn't shoot the ball very well. And uh, thank God Bucknell didn't shoot very well either. Defenses were uh, showed up today for both teams. What won this game for Butler is they actually hit their free throws for once, and they actually did not turn the ball over for once. So that's what the factors were in uh, winning this game for Butler. Um, they led 21-14 at halftime, and uh, that lead like evaporated quickly um, with about 10 minutes to go. Bucknell went up by 6 after but Butler had been up by 11. Bucknell goes up by 6, and all of a sudden it's starting to look bad for Butler, like this could be it. But thank God it isn't. They're talking about Butler right now. Okay. Thank God it's not over. One more game at least. Play the winner of Marquette and Davidson. But anyway, Butler beats Bucknell 68 to 56. Um, we improve to uh, 27 and 8 on the season. Bucknell's season ends at 28 and 6. Roosevelt Jones had 14 points on 6 of 12 shooting. Kyle Marshall had 7 points on 3 of 5 shooting. Andrew Smith had 14 points on 3 of 8 shooting. He was 1 of 2 behind the 3 point line and he hit his free throws today, 7 of 8, thank God. Rodney Clark, 16 points on 5 of 14 shooting. He was 2 of 8 behind the 3 point line and those 2 he hit were the last 2 shots behind the 3 point line that he actually took. So he was 0 for 6 to start off. Um, Alex Barlow stepped in, great job for him, 11 points, it's way above his average. 2 of 5 from the field, 0 of 3 behind the 3 point line. Cameron Woods had 4 points on 1 of 4 shooting. Kellen Dunham had 2 points on 0 of 4 shooting, 0 of 1 behind the 3 point line, 2 of 2 from the free throw line, he's still struggling from the field, big time. Eric, Prom, Eric, Eric Fromm, 0 points on 0 of 1 shooting, 0 of 1 behind the 3-point line. And Chase DeGaulle, 0 points on 0 of 2 shooting, 0 of 2 behind the 3-point line. Um, team stats, Butler shot 36.4% from the field. Bucknell shot 37.1%. From the three-point line, Butler shot 17.6%. Bucknell shot 31.3%. From the free throw line, Butler shot 89.3%. Bucknell shot 62.5%. Butler had 41 rebounds in this game to Bucknell's 37. And uh, turnovers, Butler had five, hallelujah. Bucknell had nine. So it gives you an idea. And you know, uh, Next game, like I said, Davidson or Marquette. And I'm pulling for Davidson just because of the fact that I'm a mid-major guy, and I love seeing small schools like that win. And it'd be fun to play Davidson, so um, at least we'll get one mid-major in the Sweet 16. But anyway, that's that. I'm going to try to get my heart rate back down. And uh, that was a... I hope this is the bad game. This is the only bad game of the tournament that we can just play well after this. Remember our last NCAA tournament game against UConn in the National Championship in 2011? We shot terribly. I'm hoping this was a continuation of that, and now instead of ending the tournament like that, we can start it like this. Start it like that, and then move on and play great the rest of the way. Get the bad game out first, and then make our run. So Anyway, I will uh, have another video recap up on Saturday, uh, maybe even Sunday, if I don't get to it Saturday night. So. Anyway, so you guys keep enjoying that tournament, and I know I am, and have a great day.